think we should start with a 48 hour fast. Good morning. Good morning, sweet friends and family. It's Dr. Erica, the Fit Fast and Doctor, and I'm back at it again with another OMAD vlog. I have lost and kept off 60 pounds, 60 pounds for three years by living an intermittent fasting lifestyle and also moving my body. I also encourage you along the way while you're on your health and wellness journey. If this sounds like something you're interested in, go ahead and click that subscribe button and join the family. We'd love to have you. So today is Monday, July 31st, 2023, a new week. And y'all already know what I like to do. I like to set my intentions for the week and also discuss my goals. So this week, I'm going to focus on one goal, the fast. Y'all, I am doing a 48-hour fast. In fact, I've already started. So y'all are going to uh, see how I get it done. Y'all are going to see um, just how the Fit Fasting Doctor does it. Now, I'm no stranger to extended fasting. That's been a part of my story. But um, today, y'all are going to hold me accountable. Y'all are going to uh, have to pump me up in these com comments to keep me going. So first, let's go ahead downstairs and work out. So I headed on downstairs and y'all already know in Fit Fast and Doctor style, I had to go ahead and do an outfit check. After that, I hopped up on the elliptical machine. I did an hour, which is my usual. And for my entertainment, I was on YouTube. Mm-hmm. Hey y'all, so I'm just coming to check in. We are about um, 19, well, a little over 19 hours into the fast. It's just after one o'clock. Um, I'm feeling good. I've just been drinking my water and uh, y'all already know I did have my black coffee this morning, but I did have to come tell y'all this. So how about the owner um, of the company that I work for? Um, I had a lunch meeting uh, today. And, uh, but he knows I'm a faster, so I just uh, ordered my food and I packed it to go. So I'm gonna flip the camera around so y'all can see. All right, y'all, so this is my food right here. I just got this um, vegan, um, the bagel. It's like a veggie bagel and then some barbecue chips. Just like I said, I just been drinking my water because y'all know we are in this 48 hour fast. Um, I'm doing really, really good over here, y'all. So I will just be checking in with y'all a little later. It is seven o'clock and I have just um, made it past 24 hours. Well, I mean, it's a little over 24 hours because I actually started last night at 6.15, but I'm still feeling good. Um, just been drinking my water and then also I had some black coffee this morning. I'm about to go ahead and be wrapping up for the night get ready for um, bed wind down because whenever I do um, an extended fast, I like to go ahead and get in the bed early. You know why? Because the quicker I get in the bed, then tomorrow will be here kind of fast. Good morning. It is August the 1st, 2023. Y'all, it is time for a new beginning. First, I want to go ahead and touch on uh, the fast. So y'all know I'm in this 48 hour fast and um i'm feeling good this morning so last night your girl yeah i had to push through when i tell y'all i had to uh lean on a strength that was uh beyond me i'm talking about like uh, that supernatural strength and it's usually like that like that first night the night of i just try to go ahead and go to sleep to get me through because usually that's definitely the toughest part and just like i said once i go to sleep it's just like you wake up and i feel brand new i feel uh full of, en full of energy right now um so today i'll only be having um my water and my black coffee like i usually do and then yes later on uh it's gonna be time to eat it's gonna be time to break the fast so anyway i hope y'all have an amazing day but now it's time to go work out. Y'all, come on. Here's my outfit of the day. So I did try to change it up. I got on the um, treadmill this morning. I did my usual one hour. After this, y'all, I did do lower body with my resistance bands. It's just at 4.30 in the morning. Yeah, I be struggling as far as like recording everything. I know y'all understand. We made it. We made it. We have reached the end of our 48-hour fast. And um, 
your girl oh yeah we we definitely ready to eat this food so um i got home just a few minutes ago i got the notification that it was time to break your fast and i was like uh thank you lord so this is the meal i'll be having so i have my salad right there y'all have seen it so many times before i also have my um, homemade potato wedges um corn i stuck that in the air fryer and then also my apple pie oats y'all let me go and bless this food so it can bless my soul good morning it is august the 2nd 2023 y'all we did it we did it y'all i just woke up and we just hit 1k oh my god oh my god y'all thank y'all thank y'all so much i truly do appreciate each and every one of you from the bottom of my heart i i really do y'all i'm trying to uh not be too loud because it is like 4 30 in the morning but um i just wanted to come and say it is truly a blessing in being obedient um i done found my people and y'all done found me um i'm not gonna get to preaching let's go ahead downstairs and work out thank y'all now y'all i know we have been talking for the past couple of weeks about taking those balloons down but one of my beautiful sisters one of the subscribers said girl lead those balloons up until you hit 1000 um subscribers and i'm like okay we are pretty close y'all thank y'all so much After I left work, it was time to pick up my son from summer camp. Y'all, he had like a million stories to tell me about his day. Once I got home, it was time to go ahead and start cooking my food. Y'all, listen, listen. Y'all ain't even ready for it, okay? Because this meal right here, it was so good. Y'all have any guesses? Just wait for it. Wait for it. So as you can see, it was time to break my fast. Y'all, this is what I'm having. My spaghetti and meatballs, that zucchini I put in the air fryer. Also some corn and my salad. Y'all, 10 out of 10. Mm -mm -mm. Good morning. It is Thursday, August the 3rd, and y'all already know I was headed downstairs to work out. I know y'all already know the routine by now because you're subscribed. And if you're not, I mean, really, what are you doing? What are you waiting on? Sis, go ahead and click that subscribe button to join the family. I'm just coming to uh, check in real quick. I hope y'all are having an amazing day so far of course um but i just had to come tell y'all listen my feelings are so hurt so hurt so i got to work this morning and um y'all know how usually um well during the summertime um i get off work at like um two o'clock two thirty somewhere around there we call it the summer hours right well how about i got to work and realized that today is the day that we start back at regular hours so i gotta be here at five o'clock i was like oh my gosh i thought it started next week but uh no i was uh completely wrong but it's all good no worries because we getting all the little boys and girls taken care of before um they go back to school next week so um quick story time so back when i was in dental school um, I said that uh, I would never see kids, never. I was just like, uh, no ma'am, not me, find somebody else to do it. That was like the last thing on my list of like specialties uh, to do. So um, I had one opportunity that uh, fell through. Thank goodness it fell through, right? So then the opportunity presented itself to see kids. And would y'all not believe that is all I have been doing for the past 16 years? 16 years. And the thing is, I wouldn't have it any other way. Y'all, I love seeing kids. I'm just like, mm -mm, bring on the kids. Not, I don't want to see the adults. So anyway, y'all never say never you never know what the lord may have uh for you so i'll just check in a little later bye y'all once i left work it was time to get my son to swim practice y'all he's been taking lessons for over three years now it'll actually be four years in november we're um to the point now we're considering competitive swim 
Once I got home, it was time to go ahead and break my fast. Now, baby, listen, we work smarter, not harder over here. So I pretty much had that same meal, that spaghetti from last night. And y'all already know spaghetti is way better on the second day. Good morning. It is Friday, August the 4th, 2023. Y'all, I'm so happy I do not have to go to work today. These having, having Fridays off, I absolutely love it. So I did sleep in um, just a little while this morning. It's actually about 5.15. Y'all know I usually am up at like 4.15, so I can be working out at like 4.30. But um, it was time to go ahead and wake up. I know this sleep was so good. It was good, but it was time to wake up. So, uh, I just wanted to tell you this one thing this morning. It is uh, time for some of y'all to wake up. It's, it's time for some of y'all to wake up. You've been sleeping on yourself too long. And it's time to wake up, get up, and move forward. It's time to elevate your life, y'all. And you say, well, Dr. Erica, what you mean elevate? I mean, whatever goal you are trying to accomplish, it's time to take action take action y'all and then not only that remain consistent um this sleeping on yourself and the going back and forth that that's played out we we are not doing that anymore it is a new day okay remember we are trying to uh start a new journey we we writing this new story okay so we're gonna wake up we're gonna get up and we're moving forward elevating we're going to take action and remain consistent you got to keep on going don't give up we keeping on going Okay, we're going to be growing and then we're going to be glowing, glowing. Yeah, y'all see, listen, I know I be coming with these uh, little cute outfits and stuff, but understand this, the most, the most beautiful thing that you can wear is your confidence and a smile. Okay, look, smiling contagious. Y'all know that, right? Watch this. Watch it. Watch this. Did it work? Did it work? Y'all smiling? <laughs> Y'all, come on, let's go work out. So here's my outfit of the day. Now listen, y'all, I do have a little surprise for y'all. Y'all just got to keep on watching. So I got on my elliptical machine, did my hour. But after that, remember how I told y'all I didn't have to go to work today. So I was able to record me getting my little resistance training in. I just did a few uh, kettlebell swings, y'all. It was 6 o'clock and I was ready to break my fast. Quick, easy, simple meal. Y'all, I did a chicken wrap that had lettuce and cucumber on there. That, uh, the green beans that I just put in the microwave. Now, listen, y'all, how have I gone all week long and haven't had my apple pie oats? Y'all, I promise I need to do like an entire video because y'all want to see the recipe for that. I added that salsa onto the wrap. 10 out of 10. Good morning. It is Saturday, August the 5th, and I headed on downstairs. Quick outfit check. Y'all, black is one of my favorite colors, so I went ahead and got on a treadmill, treadmill day, and y'all can see I did a little over an hour. So I just got done getting ready for the day. Y'all know I got to go ahead and head out. We got to um, run errands. We got to go ahead and start getting ready for the week. Um, outfit. Yeah, your girl. We looking cute because we going outside. So the outfit, we going for cute and comfortable on today. But I'm going to give y'all one guess. One guess on where we got to go first. If you guess the jump park, you are absolutely correct. Just in case y'all are wondering, we do have a membership, and yes, they do know him by name, but it's all good because whoever came up with the idea of having massage chairs in the jump on park, baby, y'all the real MVP. I just spent the time relaxing and drinking my water. Y'all, it was so many kids in there like, oh my God, and then my little boy like, mama, can I have some extra time? Can I have some extra time? I'm like, baby, it is time for us to go because um, my pickup order is ready. So let's go ahead and head to Walmart and get these groceries. 
So I do a pickup order, but I don't let them pick out everything. I go inside to get my produce, y'all. I got to be able to feel my food, see my food. Let me know what y'all do. Do y'all do delivery, pickup? Do y'all go inside? Let me know in the comments. A few hours later, it was time for me to go ahead and start cooking my food. That's my impossible meat right there, just in case y'all were wondering. Now listen, I know y'all done seen this Southwest salad before, but it was time to break my fast. I don't know what it was about tonight, but baby, when I tell you, that salad was so good. I got my lettuce, my um, impossible meat, black beans, corn, some fajita veggies, and tomatoes. I put that salsa on there, and then y'all gonna see my cashew cheese. Baby, chipotle who mm -mm. Chipotle ain't got nothing on me baby I ate the salad with those tortilla chips and then also I have my yogurt back there that's my so delicious yogurt with some strawberries and granola this meal was definitely another 10 out of 10 morning it is sunday august the 6th 2023 y'all we have so much stuff we have to do today notice i said we because y'all already know y'all coming with me okay so after uh we get done working out i have to finish getting us ready for the week but then we're gonna make a trip to the school because we gotta meet um my son's teacher for this upcoming year then we got to go to Sunday dinner. I know we haven't been to Sunday dinner in about two weeks because the family, we didn't have a lot of um, a lot of stuff going on. And then after that, we got to make it to the softball games um, for the league, the co-ed league that my husband organized for the city. So uh, I think we are expected to have a few um, scattered showers. So hopefully we'll still be able to make it to the games and they won't be canceled. But y'all go ahead, put your clothes on, be ready to go at two o'clock. Cause just like I said, y'all already know y'all coming with me. All right. So before I go down, I just wanted to give you, uh, somebody needs to hear this word. You are destined for greatness. You are destined for greatness. Cause see, I think sometimes, um, people may forget who they really are. You are destined for greatness. Mm -hmm. It is in your DNA. It, it, it's your birthright. We um, sometimes shrink ourselves. We want to try to um, shrink up and in and, and these places that you know you've outgrown. You know you've outgrown, so why are you shriveling up and stuff? Girl, mm -mm. Remember how we talked about uh, inconsistency being played up? Shrinking is played out, too. We're not doing that anymore. It is time for you to stretch. Stretch, sis. It is time for you to spread those wings. It is time for you to go forth and be great. You didn't heard it from me. Go forth and be great. All right. Now, now it's time for me to go downstairs and work out. Y'all, come on. Here's my outfit of the day. And we just ended the week with this um, one hour elliptical workout. Hey y'all, okay, so we just pulled up to the school. We're getting ready to uh, go in and meet my son's new teacher. He's going to the third grade this year. I cannot believe my baby is just like, oh my gosh, like growing up so fast. So uh, we're getting ready. Um, I'm praying for a very successful and blessed year. You ready to go, baby? Yeah, all right. So I'll just let y'all know how it goes. We just got done meeting the teacher and y'all oh my gosh she's just so pretty this is her first year at the um at the school so i was i was getting good vibes from her so that's always a good sign you know i had to go ahead and give her the rundown on everything now of course my son had to go and speak to all his old teachers and it was just like welcoming him and giving him hugs and that just like really warmed my heart um had a chance to talk to the principal and i absolutely love her as well one thing that she did say um was just saying that she treats all 450 of those kids just like how she treats her own and that just really really um resonated with me because that's exactly what i tell um my parents when I'm treating your child it's just like I'm not gonna do anything to your child that I wouldn't do to my own um, so yeah it takes a village 
I'm looking forward to him having just like an amazing year. So now it is time for us to go ahead and head on in to Sunday dinner. Y'all come on. Y'all got y'all clothes on? I told y'all to be ready. Y'all come on. Uh, the softball games did get canceled. I don't know if y'all can hear that thundering, but it's been raining and lightning like crazy. So yeah, a complete wash. So that means that I can actually stay here at Sunday dinner a little while longer. All right, I'm gonna head back in. Here's my meal for today. Now, I don't know if y'all could tell, but my mom had catered some Olive Garden. So it was time to break my fast, y'all. I had, um, that's a minestrone soup and then also a salad. I actually went back for seconds. This soup was very, very good. had the most amazing week from doing the things I enjoy to eating the food I love. Go ahead, show your girls some love. Click that like button. Also, join the family. Click that subscribe button and also turn on that notification bell so you never miss a video from me. I will see y'all next week. Bye!